hi guys welcome back to a new reading vlog i know <laughs> i've been gone from reading this vlog for a while and i really want to get back into them because i actually do really like them but <laughs> we'll just see how it goes so today it's the 11th of january so let's see if i can get back to them because i really want to so what i'm reading uh, i'm re listening to an audiobook that's Choir War by Nina Varela. Uh, yeah, Nina Varela. And I am like two hours and 40 minutes in. I have like four and a half hours left of this one. And I'm really loving my time with this one. I just love it. It's so good. And I don't know, I loved it. I fell in love. Of, I love it. I'm really having fun with this one. I don't know if it's going to be my favorite yet. I've still a long while to go and a sequel. And I'm enjoying my time with it. I started Sunday, so yay. I just realized that the book, the physical book I'm reading, I can't talk to you about it. Like, I'm hoping to finish it Wednesday at least. Um, let's just say it's a Frederick Bachman book, so I'm going to cry and I really hope I enjoy it. One thing I did want to talk about, I did finish yesterday, but I wanted to talk about it, is Soulbinder by Sebastian de Castell. I was, I'm about to reading the series from Robbie and, from, with Robbie from And It's No Second Book. <laughs> and I am just loving the review. This is the first one. I've given the first three, all three, uh, four stars, and this is the first five stars in this reread for me. And um, I fell in love. This is, I just, with the first three, they didn't make me feel anything. Like, I really liked it and I really like Helen and Y Keys and all the characters. But they didn't make me laugh extensively. They didn't make me cry. And this book did. I had tears in my, cry, in my eyes. I was laughing out loud. I just was having... An emotional turmoil with this book and that's what books are about and this one gave it to me so if you're worried this is not going to be favorite series this one is going to make you cry and laugh and everything i've reread the i've read the first five in a series not the last one but this one i couldn't remember a thing about what this was going on i just couldn't remember and uh, i didn't remember it. and i remember it's from book five a bit but not from this one, so that makes my experience a little bit different also. So my goals for this week are to finish the book I can't tell you about, the Frederick Bachman book, it's a mystery book, it's for my series. Um, I'm going to change a bit, a, a bit up, so if you want to know about that, watch the next episode that comes out. Because, you know, some things have happened in my life and I just need to change it a bit. And uh, my goals for this week. Finish that secret book. Finish uh, Choir's War. Or either start a Wiccan beginner's book. And finish that. Because, yeah, I'm kind of trying to get into Wicca. Wicca, Wiccan. I'm still learning. I'm not doing anything yet. I'm just teaching myself on it. Um, and I'm actually really excited. I'm getting tarot cards and crystals for my birthday. So I'm just really excited and I can't wait it. And I also can't wait for my birthday until 18. What I also want to read this week. I'm not sure what I want to read else. You're like quite a few books I have here I want to pick up physically. Uh, one is Cemetery Boys, which I really, 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 really want to read. The Year of the Witching is one. I want to read all of them, but they're high on my priority list because they're standalones. Um, maybe Daughter of the Siren going to finish a series, but I'm not sure. Um, Girl Serpent Torn is also a good contender. I have a few series. The, the Diviners, City We Became, Bear. That one is also a series. The Contender. I really want to read them too, but I'm not planning on buying a lot of books, but we'll see. If I continue a series, I'm gonna buy the books for it because, you know, you want to read the books. Um, we'll just have to see. I have some books at home too I can't read. We'll just have to see what I pick up then. Um, so you may notice in a couple, 
I don't know how long that I'm gonna have different houses because I'm a my grandma's now. Um, and sometimes in a week I'm at my own house. When I'm at my home house, I am entirely alone. I'm just home because I have to work and we're uh, with my grandpa grandma's <laughs> and because she needs help like organizing everything and learning everything because my grandpa boss and he did everything so we we are helping her out a bit um it's not trespassing any things with covid i'm doing entirely safe i'm keeping distance when i'm traveling um and when i'm at home i'm home alone except when i'm at work but i will be the same i was if i was traveling each day you know because you know travel is expensive so like this week I'm working Wednesday evening and Friday evening so I'm going to my own house Wednesday morning and coming back Saturday morning uh, but because I'm entirely alone it's allowed if I just keep my distance from everyone and I do I really I focus on my safety and my family's safety. So I just wanted to say that because, you know, COVID is important. Put a face mask on and keep to the guidelines and keep people safe, okay? It's important. Okay, so I've said a lot right now. Um, This was everything for this update. I hope I'm going to read more tomorrow. Maybe even finish the book I'm reading. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see how my reading goes. Um, Yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hi, guys. It's Tuesday. Sorry for the bad lighting. I just wanted to sit here because I have something to discuss with you. So, first off, I finished my physical book which I can't tell you about, but yeah, I finished it! Uh, you will hear about it in two weeks, I think, so stay tuned for that. Um, next, I started another physical book, which I left downstairs, and I finished the other book because that one arrived today. It was actually supposed to arrive Saturday or Sunday, so I'm glad it arrived earlier. And it's Sword Art Online Aincrad Volume 1. And I'm so excited for this. I thought it was a manga. It isn't. Um, is it a light novel? I think they're in the, from the night novels. There's 26 books. And I think at least 21 mangas. Like 3 in Aincrad verse. And moving on I'm like oh my god. I started this. I wanted this because I watched the series in December. Loved it. One of my favorite series right now. And I wanted to have a book. It was a long time before it came. Uh, so I'm glad I have it. So I started 20 minute, twenty pages in. So I'm a lot. I'm kind of confused about what a light novel is. So if you know, please let me know down, down in the comments. Because I'm confused. Um, Next. Oh, like what I'm talking about. I'm I'm not sure about loving it. Like it's right now. It's a lot of explaining because I know the world. I know kind of what's happening and everything. So we'll just have to see how it goes on. And it's like explaining everything because it's about a virtual world. And I'm not that interesting in all the knowing little details because I kind of do know them already. So we'll just have to see. Um. Audiobook wise, uh, what, was, what was I reading or listening to? I can't remember. Um, I went and noticed first the second one, but Nina Varelli, the duology. Um, I am more than halfway through and I'm really, really enjoying it so far. I find it really interesting both the um, both the um, aspects. No, POVs are really interesting and I really like both of them in different ways. Like, they are totally different characters and I really like both of them and I'm really enjoying myself so far. I'm not sure if it's going to be a five star though. I really am not. I also started listening to the, another audio recoil. I was diamond painting. It is Wicca by Amy Golden. Uh, it's Wicca for Beginners. And I'm a, I'm enjoying this one. It's their 
audio book I'm listening on this topic so far. And I'm enjoying this one too. It's a short one. We'll see when I finish. It's just one moment when I'm sitting down and really focusing on something like drawing or diamond painting. I put this on because I know I will be able to focus on it more than when I'm walking or something else. So that's why that. And now on a topic of why you're sitting here. I'm going home tomorrow morning until it's a Saturday morning. And I'm not sure which books I'm going to take with me. I'm ca- I've got quite a few here. Um, and I know one is coming at home, which is a gift. I'll talk about it when I get it. Um... I'm just not sure. The first one I am really, really wanting to read um, is this one. Cemetery Boys. Sorry for the bad lighting. It's a beautiful book. It's such a beautiful book. Um, I really want to read this. It's like... I'm so excited for this. With this one, I just opened it. And this one was the only book from the gifts this year I got for Christmas where my grandpa put this little kiddo gift note in it and I just it's very emotional okay but I really want to read it and uh, next I really want to read The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson I really want to read it it's another absolutely gorgeous book. Like, look at that white. And I'm so excited. And, like, there are more. Like, you have More Happy Than Not. Daughter of Siren and a little bit less. Girl Supper and Torn. I think there are the Hansen. Like, I have more. I feel like The City We Became... The Diviners, Bear Tom, and Contender I've here, but they're all beginning of series, and I kind of want to not do that yet. Maybe later on, uh, like the city B became it's a sequel as an audience. The Diviner is a four book series, and I'm quite nervous. Bear Tom, I just read from the author. I loved it again. So, spoiler. Um, Bear Town, but it's it has a sequel and there's a sequel coming out, so I want to wait a bit. And The Contender, which I really want to read, uh, it has a second book out and the third one is coming out this year, I believe, so I'm going to wait a little bit closer to the day of that. I'm really anxious with series, have you noticed? <laughs> but, uh, you know, like I really want to read these. But I can't take them all! With me, with Sword Art Online, and another book coming for, for three, three and a half days. This is, this is the life of a book reader. Really. Like, which books do I take with me? Which book am I in the mood to read then? And I, I would like thick these two, but they're all thick hardcovers. And I have to take two other books with me, which I finished reading, which I'm going to store at home so that they're not here. And now I'm just like, yeah. What do I do? Because I just want to do it. I think it's going to be either of these two, to be honest. We'll just have to see. They are like this beautiful. I do hope I love these more than Adi LaRue because I didn't like Adi LaRue really. And I'm sad. And these are really anticipated reads for me, so I would I like these ones more. Oops. Okay, that was everything. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, welcome back. And it's Wednesday. You know, I just oh I love this outfit that I've on right now. Um but you know, I would like literally, I wouldn't, you wouldn't have seen me that with this last year. I wouldn't have worn it over my dead body. And now I'm loving it. I'm getting into it who I am, and this is that. <laughs> Yay! I'm actually really excited. Um, so, books. First, I've got a few books. One I've already put away, and I'm like, shit. Um,.
the one I put away is City of Ghosts by Fee Schwab. I've already, uh, Victoria Schwab. I listened to the audiobook of this and loved it. And the second one, can't wait for the third one. But as May sent it to me, I I forgot her um, Twitter link and everything. I will leave it down below. She's amazing. Um, she sent it to me, which is very kind of her. Thank you so much. And I'm just really glad. <laughs> I got it because I love the series like Fee Schwab. It's just some books I like, some books I don't. It's really mixed. Mixed. Like, it's really, really mixed. But, you know, that's what happens when you... An author writes very differently in each series. It's what she does. It's what she's known for. And some books sit well with some people and some books don't sit well with people. You know, next, which is like Christmas gift, it just hasn't hadn't arrived earlier, is We Set the Dark on Fire by Taylor Kimija. Mija? I will explain it right. Which I got from Lauren, from Lauren Carter. We'll leave her Twitter down below. Um, it's a duology, and I'm actually really excited for it. Like, I listened to the audiobook of Miss Meteor not long ago. And absolutely love this. And she's a co-author there. And it's a duology, which I don't get a lot of. And I'm actually really, really excited. I'm, I read the back. And I'm just excited. But the back says, Danielle Vargas is a top student at Media School for Girls, where young women are trained to be perfect wives to distinguished men. Um, but her pedigree is a lie. She must keep the truth hidden or send me back. Sent back to the fringes of society. But when a residence group learns where she comes from and asks her to become one of their spies, Danny must decide, will she give up everything she strives for and pursue freedom, free media, and a chance at forbidden love? It sounds really interesting. It's not that long. I think around 400 pages, I think so. Ooh. Where am I? A little bit less. I'm excited for this. Thank you so much, Lauren. Uh, I think, like, each person individually. And the last one <laughs> is Boy Queen from a different Lauren. We will leave her to the link and YouTube link, link, link down below. She's absolutely amazing. It's Boy Queen by George Lester. And I'm actually really excited for this. I heard Robbie from Anna Snow so I can book talk about this and I trust Robbie's opinion so I put it on my wish list and Lauren sent it to me and this one I'm actually really really excited this one is on top of my list to read between everything else I really really want to read you know I'm really like my TBR is I think around 30 now from Christmas and like oh my god I normally don't have this big of a TBR and I'm panicking like, there are also, I think, four or five ebooks from that galleon there. Uh, so, yes, that's my TBR. To be read. We'll see how much I can read in the next few months. I mean, if, like, in three weeks, and I'm like, I'm probably get, I'm, like, getting books. I know I'm getting books, like, I know I'm getting the rest of the, the, the Three Dogs Gone series from my grandma. And I'm like, it's, it's for a reason. And you will have seen it. That announcement is already live. I'm, I'm um, organizing a tree. A fan burn along. It's a tree dark crown to read along. Over five months are starting in February. The rest of the information is in a video that's already up. So yeah. Now. The books I am currently reading. I uh, I have two hours left of Cryer's Warp and Navarella. I'm planning to read it or finish it today, but we'll just have to see. Um, I'm hoping to finish it today, so let's fingers crossed. Uh, I'm enjoying it. It's not going to be five stars. I just, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like one of my favorites, you know? Uh, so far, it's around four stars. Um, I like the main characters. But I don't know, I just sometimes feel too awkward. And that's just where I am. Sometimes when uh, something happens, I see something coming, I feel really awkward. And my body just goes stiff and I just really don't want to listen anymore. And that's just something my brain does to me. So can't help that, guys. 
Um, I'm also like 50 pages into this sort of online. I'm going to read a little bit more. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. I love the series so far, but I didn't know there was a book series, okay? I didn't know. Um, but I'm actually really excited to continue. Um, I'm hoping to get to page 100, but I'm not going to force myself to read uh, more after work, like from total eight. So, yay. Um, not for tomorrow, to tomorrow I have the day off. So, hopefully, re yeah, I have a few things I need to do. But I'm ordering fast food tomorrow, which I'm so excited for. <laughs> but, you know. That was everything for today. Um, I will see you guys. If you're watching this vlog, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye. Okay, so guys, I do have a few, it's Thursday, midday. I do have a few things to update you guys on. Um, so yeah, let's just do that. For of um, I finished Cryer's Warp and Nina Varela yesterday. Oh, sorry, I just got back from a walk. I'm a little bit winded. Uh, I finished that yesterday. I'm giving four stars. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed my experience. But like I said yesterday in this book, I really had some moments where I just rose up with secondhand embarrassment. I think it's kind of like secondhand embarrassment, except not in sexual scenes, just scenes where you know something is going wrong by because of the character's actions. Um... And I don't have that a lot, but in some book I have that a lot. And in this one, I've had quite a few of these. Like, I just didn't want to continue because of that secondhand embarrassment. And I took away from my enjoyment. That's why I'm giving me four stars, not five stars. I do want to read the end of the duology. So, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm planning to finish this series. Because it was a good book. I just had a second hand embarrassment a lot. Uh, okay, sorry, I need to talk. I feel good today. And I wanted to, like, mention it because I think it's very important because, you know, feeling good about yourself is very important and finding yourself is very important. And that's what I did. It's like, I love it. I love myself today, which is a great feeling. Love yourself always because you are amazing and you are worth everything okay love you guys and uh, then i listened to a little bit more of wicca that audio i was listening to i'm halfway through uh, of that not yet continued uh but i will i will finish it when i'm you know have time <laughs> it's not that like the most important thing it's not what i'm focusing on but it's very interesting that one and uh, then i also started the torch against night by a Torch Against the Night by Sabatier. Uh, I've 
rewrite the first one last week or uh, the second half because I put it down, I felt, two months ago, the reread, uh, because I just wasn't feeling it. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I died. <laughs> and I picked it up again and I loved it. It's five stars. I love this series. Um, so I'm listening to the second one now because I haven't, you know, I want to read the last one, the new one. I'm not a lot in at all. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I love the characters. So, yay, that's a good thing. Uh, next, um, I finished this literally m moments ago on my walk. Uh, Sword of One Eincrad by Riki Kawahara. Um, I gave this three stars because a few things i love the tv show i absolutely freaking love the tv show uh but i know there are some sexist elements in it i know i seen it i acknowledged it but you know this is this one too um and i'm really sad about that uh they were in there, and I realized they're in there. I'm really just irritated. Like, like there was one scene where the main character Greedo said, like, about Asuna, another character, like, she's the most beautiful woman here. That's not the problem, because there are not a lot of other women with that shape of body and that that face, and in this world, I'm, I'm like, yeah, of course there aren't. All women are different. And all women are beautiful. Um, but the thing that did really did me in with this book was the writing style. I didn't really enjoy the writing style. That may be translation. Um, they're also from the TV series. There are a few episodes that aren't in here and that are not going to be in any book, I think, because it's the storyline. And I miss these scenes uh, especially because it's a lot of growth for Kirito and these characters become like become his friends and I miss them and I haven't seen them and there is definitely one character who is not in here at all who is my favorite character in the tv show and I'm really curious to see if if that character ever shows up um so yeah, I've given this three stars, and I I would say if if you can't read any sex things, don't read this. I really was irritated by some of these scenes. Um, I do kind of want to continue because I love the show very much, and yes, I acknowledge that the show did a lot for me. Uh, but I'm not rushing to buy the next one like I thought I was because I bought this and I just read it at once and I thought I really wanted to buy the second one already. I'm glad I didn't yet, uh, but I do want to continue. There are just 27 books in the series, so we'll see how, how far I'll get. <laughs> so yeah, this was my update for today. What am I going to read next? I'm not sure. I've like... On the table by Cemetery Boys Boy Queen. I think one of those I'm gonna read. But first off, I'm gonna make some chocolate milk. And then I'm gonna sit here and do some re research on Wicca. That's my goal for today. That's what I'm gonna do today. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully. We'll see. I I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, random sitting on the floor update. I haven't read anything, but I'm happy. My announcement video for the fan burn along is up. And I'm watching the rest of the videos from the other co host, the amazing co host. And I'm like, I'm so excited for this. I'm like screaming my head off with excitement because I'm just so excited. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just happy, guys. So I wanted to share that because, you know, happiness all around the world. 
I'm just really thankful for all the co-hosts for joining me in this amazing journey already. And I can't wait to start reading and the live shows and whatever. I will leave the live show link of the video link down below. And I'm just excited. I'm just so excited. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna go now. See you tomorrow. Hello guys! How the hell are you doing? It's not gonna be stapled at every store in my cheek because I love them. Do I still have to wait under my eyeliner? Yeah, I do. Ooh. I don't know. Sorry guys for this very weird vlog because I'm happy. So I'm crazy, which is a good thing, not a bad thing. I know. I just have been feeling good this week. These last few days. And that also that's literally all that matters actually. <laughs> so yeah. I hope you felt the way that I felt this week. Like I, I've been sad and I cried. And I am emotional about all the fucking things that are happening in this world. But I'm feeling happy about myself. Yeah. That hasn't... It hasn't been like this for years. For literally years. I can't remember the last time I was this happy. About who I am. And how I look. And how I want to represent myself. And... I just feel beautiful inside and out. And that's just a happy moment. I just feel happy. And why am I trying to justify that I feel happy? I don't know. Okay, reading. I've started... I don't know if I told you, Georgia got the nine with Sabatier. Yeah, I did. Uh, not a lot in more. I will probably listen to it more when I'm at work. I'm going to take an hour in. So it's six, more than six hours to go book. It's a long ass audiobook. Um, so yes, that's happening. And I'm loving it again. Next, I am reading Boy Queen by George Lester. I got this from Lauren Willie for the link down below. I got this this week. I know Robbie from Anderson was stuck in the book Reddit, and he knows the author. I'm like, I'm jealous. Because I am 100 pages in, so a quarter of the way through. And I cried already. Like, literally. Um, so this is about Robin, and he he wants to be an actor. He wants a future on Broadway. Uh, he has a top secret boyfriend, uh, and his life is now a hot mess, because... He doesn't get accepted to the school. And I cry because I get that. I get the not the not acceptance in a school, but the dream like stage you're in in wanting something so badly because it's just your dream. And that's the the energy you're put into it and everything. And he failed. Or he failed, he didn't fail. He didn't fa fail. He just wasn't accepted. And I was accepted at the school I wanted to go to. And I could have felt the way he felt if it turned out differently. And I just cried because it's such an, an emotional moment. Uh, also, <laughs> his mom. First off, I thought... I was gonna hate the mom. She was so happy to be irritating like in the first chapter. I'm like, what the fuck are you? What kind of mom? And then more chapters happened. Then what school happened. And I'm like, I want, I want that kind of mom. I want that mom. <laughs> because she has his back. 100%. She has his back. She doesn't push him to go to college anyway for something he doesn't love. She tells him, practice a year, work a year, and get better so that you get accepted and you can pursue your dream. And that just made my heart feel big and light. And I'm like, I want that kind of mom. I want that kind of mom. Like, 
So yeah, I'm loving it already. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, um, maybe I'll finish it this week. I'm not sure. Two days left, and now we're in three hundred pages to go. We'll just see how fast it goes because my weekend is gonna be hectic. Ah, oh, and heck, tea's on the candle, like the candle's burning, and it's dancing. Like I know you don't believe like in goddess and goddess, but if <laughs> Wicked Hulk. If you don't want to skip to the next clip, I don't know what the event is going to be. Um, like, I turn on the candle for the first time to pray, talk to a god or goddess. And the candle was yesterday. And it began dancing. Like, I've never seen a candle dance before. And it was just beautiful. I loved it. And the one name that came to mind was Hecate. So, again, we kind of chose each other. And I think she's still here. And I'm doing research and I'm learning and I'm just happy. Okay, so that was my update for today. I'm going to get changed and go to work. Leaving my week the way it is. Because I think it's still okay. After therapy. <laughs> but, you know, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay, guys, a little bit of an update. Um, it's Saturday, the 15th or 16th, 15th, I think, of January. And I've done quite a bit of reading. I um, I forgot my book downstairs. I'm 300 pages into Boy Queen, and I'm loving it. It's so good i love it okay my hair fell down i love it so good and i would so far truly really recommend it it was like it's about drag but a lot more it's just about a teenager figuring out what he wants and it's queer as hell pansexual representation gay representation so just pick it up if you're, you know, queer. Or if you just want to read queer books, you know. <sighs> I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> today is going well, isn't it? I'm really not a re- I'm little. I can't talk anymore today. So I'm going to keep this short and I'm going to teach you a lot more tomorrow when I close up this vlog. I'm definitely going to finish by Queen. It's like 100%. It's, I'm just going to finish it. I've also decided I'm not going to do makeup tomorrow. I just need a break. My face needs a break of makeup. But I do love my makeup. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, my audiobook, A Torch Again is Night. I think I'm four hours in. I have, like, a little around three hours left. Loving it again. I don't know. I think I gave them all four stars last time. But so far, they're going to be five stars this time. So, yeah, loving that. I'm hopefully, like, gonna finish this quartet this month. Otherwise, it's gonna be February, but it's definitely gonna be soon. Um, But I'm gonna be reading or listening to stuff in between the next books, you know? Like, I really like doing one book that, one book that. So I'm ho- maybe picking up Iron Heart. This is equal to... Uh, the one I read this week. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm, you know what? I don't know what I'm doing here. Have you noticed? Um, I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna be at my house alone for the majority of next week if everything goes right because I have to work a lot. So I'm gonna be alone at home from Sunday evening to Friday evening. So yeah, that's gonna be happening next week. Um, for no more, I'm planning to finish Boy Queen. Do I have the title right? I don't know. Uh, hopefully, I'm gonna be finishing that tomorrow. I have 100 pages left, less than, and I fly. I literally fly through this book. So definitely gonna finish it. Probably gonna get through. A Turgid Guns and I had a little bit more. Uh, but we'll just, yeah, we'll love to you tomorrow evening. So, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you guys.
Hey guys, sorry for the bad lighting again. <laughs> um, so it's Sunday. So I'm going to close with this vlog on Sunday evening. Um, but I do have a few things to put you on. Uh, and close off with vlogs, of course. So. Um, first off. I have around a, uh, an hour and 15 minutes left of the... A Torch Against the Night by Salad here. I'm enjoying, I, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I thought it was going to be five star, but the last hour of what I listened to today just felt a little meh. Uh, I'm still lo I'm lo really, really liking it. So we'll see when I finish it, what rating I'm going to give it. I'm hoping to finish it tomorrow, but we'll just have to see. I also finished Boy, Qu Boy Queen. I'm still not sure about that. Oh, wait. Yeah, Boy Queen by George Lester. Last night. I finished it last night. And I'm giving it four stars. I really, really enjoyed my time with it. There was this one conflict I just didn't really like. Um, like, I talked to with a friend and he said, like, it's really normal for a teenager to react with it. React the way they... they that that character did. I just didn't enjoy it myself. Um, and it was resolved really quickly. Um, that's, I just, I didn't mesh with that conflict in the book. I don't think it was necessary. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm giving it four stars, not five stars. And then I've also started Daughter of the Simon Queen by Trisha Levenstera. Like, literally, I... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I noticed that I'm not starting any of the book I said I would start in the beginning of the week. I don't think I've done that. Like, no. No, I was saving I was going to start another one. I'm forgetting the title. Um, but I just forgot. Or not forgot, I just picked up other books. <laughs> that's, that's, literally, like, this week sums up what it's like to be a mood reader. And I picked this up, I, I gave the first one three stars, I ordered the duology at the same time. And it's, you know, it's a duology. And I, I actually, I enjoyed this first one, was wasn't my favorite. And probably wouldn't have picked up the second one if it didn't own it already. Just saying. But I am 108 pages in. I saw it today. I have around 220, 30 pages left. 230 pages left. I, I'm i enjoying it. Like the first one I enjoyed too. It just wasn't my favorite. The writing style is pretty easy, easy. Except for like the first beginning. Like every time I pick it up. I seem to need a few pages to get into the writing style it feels very estranged and when i am into the writing style it's just really easy to read and i won't want to keep reading it just isn't my favorite um so okay what books did i read this week i i talked about soul binder which i read last week um which i gave five stars I also talked about Sword Art Online Volume 1 by Riki Kawahara, which I gave three stars. It's, it's a bit sexist. Like, I recommend you pick it up if you like the show, otherwise I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, then I also listened to the audiobook of Cryer's War, which I gave four stars. I really enjoyed it. It's a fantasy and I just had some awkward moments where it just didn't feel right. I talked about it in the vlog, so. Um, but I enjoyed it, and I always recommend you pick this up if you like fantasy. Uh, then I listened to the audiobook of Wicca, an essential guide to understanding witchcraft, magic, and spells for beginners by Amy Golden, which I really enjoyed this audiobook. I'm not giving these uh, audiobooks or books when I'm reading them. Um... What's it called? Ratings. I'm just not. Um, but I really enjoyed this one. And then, and then I physically read Boy Queen by George Lester. Read 108 pages of this. And listened to 5 hours of Star Chickens tonight. So I read physically 3. 
four, five books this week, almost six, and a little bit more. So, yeah, it was a really successful week. And I really like this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it too. It's going to be a long ass vlog. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you guys next week. 